Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of my mob farm slash witch farm slash gold farm. Um, it can even be an egg farm. So I'm going to switch back over into difficulty hard and we'll watch what happens. So the mob farm itself is a <coughs> simple inefficient design but uh, it's underneath a simplified witch farm up here and it produces a boatload of stuff <laughs> so pretty simple uh, just, just a witch farm with a hole underneath it's a t I believe 25 by 25 uh, area here which is just stone slabs with hoppers underneath so as the mobs fall uh, they die and any that don't die like um, slimes and stuff like that these golems clean up for me and knock them out along with any uh, armored uh, golem, I'm sorry, uh, zombies or skeletons like that guy there these guys will attack and knock him out as well if you see over here and by the way I have night vision effect on we have a bunch of portals uh, which spawn zombie pigmen like that guy who that was good timing alright the water forces them down and then the golems will take care of them. The golems will kill all hostile mobs except for uh, creepers and the hostile mobs usually can't take them out uh, but they do occasionally die like witches will burn them and uh, a creeper will blow up occasionally so you have to keep an eye on these guys and keep uh, making new ones but as you see everything is happening here all these uh, hoppers are going into this system over here which is just a dropper pointing up you can watch items are popping up through the ice going into a water stream which is very fast and then it flows into my item elevator in batches <coughs> and then it lifts it up to the uh, sea level about 60 we're at uh, y equals 2 I believe uh, 2.5 yeah so I, f I work in creative so I flattened everything down to you know basically one block and then built up from there. So item elevator is I can never get any of the designs I found on YouTube to work so I created my own. Uh, it's zero loss. Uh, it's very fast um, and it goes all the way to uh, you know 256 Y which is up at the the top without dropping items or anything like that. So, we'll take a look at the uh, simplified witch farm real quick. Oh, and uh, while we're here, <coughs> this is just a pusher system. Uh, very simple pressure plate into redstone into a block. Back behind here, I think I saw one up here that doesn't have it. It's just a piston behind each of these blocks. So a mob spawns on this pressure plate causes this piston to activate and pushes them to its uh, doom. Alright, so now let's head up to the witch farm which is, as I said, uh, a simplified version and I can't drive. Alright, there we go. So again I have night vision on so we can see everything but this uh, area here covers uh, the whole witch farm and 
lets it uh, get no light. So we see things are spawning in. This is based off of JL's design, which I'll put a link in the uh, description. And uh, I've just simplified it. I found that uh, his design was a bit of uh, overkill and not overly necessary. It's an excellent design, don't get me wrong, uh, but it takes a lot of resources and a lot of time and a lot of maintenance. If you guys have watched my other video of the witch farm dance party, that's what happens when it breaks down. <laughs> so, I decided to simplify it with uh, just a hopper timer. Uh, well, it's a hopper loop. So an, one item goes around these hoppers, and as it passes these comparators, it triggers the pistons to push. Very simple design. I mean, you could probably recreate it just by looking at this design here, or this video here. So pretty easy. Um, JL's design also didn't integrate the uh, mob farm underneath, but as I was building this, uh, I figured, well, I got this big pit underneath anyway, so why not uh, have it push out some uh, mobs as well. Here's the top of the item elevator. See the items are coming up. Over into... The, this is not complete, I just did this for demonstration purposes. But as you can see, this has been running for maybe... 20 minutes or so, I would think. So it puts out a boatload of stuff. Also, in the area down here, I've got plans for a chicken farm uh, that I'm going to add on to this. So down here, you can spawn in chickens, and uh, they'll you know, drop eggs and they'll go right into the collection system so you don't have to have a separate chicken coop or anything like that. And uh, that's about it. So check out my other videos if you get the chance. I'm going to put in a uh, tutorial for my simplified item elevator which hopefully will help you guys out. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.